Sunday will mark the beginning of National Employ Older Workers Week, a time to recognize the important role of older workers in the workforce and encourage employers to hire them. Steve's in the Arc Lounge right now with caregiver Marilyn Milano and Kim Steggy, the owner of Seniors Helping Seniors. Steve, this is such important work. Oh, very important work. Thank you both for coming in today. It's nice to have you both with us. Thank you. Thank you. Kim, I wanted to start with you and just describing for people who have never heard of the organization before, what does Seniors Helping Seniors do? So Seniors Helping Seniors, we are an in-home, uh, non-medical in-home care agency. Okay. And we, we do prioritize hiring seniors to provide that care. Um, but we can help with, um, with chores around the house, things that get hard. Um, our mission is staying in, um, helping people stay at home. And so we can help people with uh, transportation and meal preparation. We can also do things like helping with showers and dressing if that gets hard. So that's our, that's our mission. And that's um, that's a little bit what, about what we can do. And I was telling you, ladies, during the commercial break, my mom at one time was a caregiver mm -hmm. and recognizing the importance of allowing folks to stay in their home mm -hmm. where they're comfortable and how yeah. much of a difference that that can make. Huge. Um, talk about the skill sets that you think older workers can maybe offer in that line of work. And is there any resistance from folks that might be a little bit older that are looking to sort of stay in the workforce um, that they might face? Well, one of the things that older caregivers bring is just life experience. Yeah. And we often find that people have resistance to having someone come in their home as much as they want to stay there. Um, and, and often with an older caregiver, someone that's closer in age, maybe, maybe can understand what aging feels like right. in a in a real way yeah. um, that is just brings those barriers down and people are much more accepting of having those folks in the home feels like a friend coming over right. versus a caregiver and certainly um, you're going to establish that relationship with that person yes. in some respects we too. work really hard to match people um, on skill set, of course, but also location and interest and temperament. And so we, we love it when we can get a great fit and uh, people just really become friends. I and love that. It's really neat. I yeah. love that. Marilyn, tell us about your experience and, and when you got into caregiving and what was your interest in, in doing that? Well, I'll step back a little bit. Okay. So I worked um, as a sales rep for many, many years. Okay. And before that, I was a professional musician. So after doing that, COVID came along, things changed. And I found myself in a situation where I wanted to go back to doing some music, but it was hard to make a living as a musician then, and it's hard now. So I had met Kim when I was still in my sales capacity, okay. and the model sounded interesting to me because it could be part-time, you could work it around your schedule. Mm -hmm. I had also watched my father go through Alzheimer's, and I had watched my mother go through cancer and live many years with it and eventually into assisted living. So I felt that I had an understanding and a real compassion for what people were going through. And then along with that, even when I was working full-time, I was still playing music at some senior homes. So I began to see what people needed, what some of their concerns were, and it just seemed like it would be natural a natural fit. fit. Yeah. And Kim has been wonderful working with me with my schedule, because it's a little bit of an odd schedule. You know, I got a piano gig on Friday, and then I'm doing caregiving on Tuesday. So <laughs> it's been, and you can't always make that happen, but when you can make the pieces fit, and yeah. there's flexibility. It works. It works wonderfully. And I find that I develop, you know, a fondness for a lot of the people that I have worked with in the past and now. Um, yeah. I care about them. I really care how they're doing. Um, just because I've been through it, I've seen it, and so I feel that's what I can bring to the table. And um, hopefully, some compassion and understanding. For you, as the caregiver, what have you gotten out of that experience since you started doing that? I have learned about myself and I have learned about what different people need and that each person's needs are unique. Yeah. And so I've made a couple of nice pals, you know, working with people. Uh, sometimes there's a similar interest. I'm a big animal person. So yeah. if I'm working with a person that loves animals, there's almost an immediate rapport or music. Yeah. And uh, so learning about myself, just finding out more about the world, about what people need, um, all of the above and appreciating that this line of work is very much needed. Out yes, there too. yes, and appreciate it. Yeah. And so I, I feel like it's a perfect, a perfect marriage of different opportunities yeah. and it's worked out well. Good. As we mentioned at the top, we're getting ready to kick off National Employer Older Workers Week. And uh, Kim, as we get ready to kick off this week next week, 
You know, what do you hope that people think about um, when we're talking about this idea of employing older workers, especially to help those who maybe aren't as active? Right, right. Well, I, I think that um, older workers are just so often overlooked and they have so much life experience and valuable um, insight and compassion, as Marilyn had said. I mean, these are just our best people, and they're just so great. Um, we all, all our caregivers are wonderful, of course, but there's something that's magical about pairing somebody, and and the client is immediately comfortable, and uh, and and they get they get what's go what they're going through. Um, so I would just say that 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 there are people, as I said to you earlier, there are people, and we're so happy that um, that when we when we can employ them and and um, help them ease into retirement maybe, yeah, you know? Like and it's, a, it's pretty great. So for somebody who might be sitting at home who's thinking, oh, this sounds like something that I would be interested in with Seniors Helping Seniors, is there a resource that they can go to for more information? Are there steps that they should take before they reach out? No, nope, um, just give us, some details. give us a call. Um, our website, um, senior, just Google Seniors Helping Seniors. We're, we're here right in the, in the North Seattle area shoreline. Okay. And um, just we, we work with folks to make it work for them. And because happy employees are, you know, make happy clients. Yeah. And, and so we really try to be as flexible as we can be around your schedule. Um, Marilyn's a great example of that is we work around what she needs us to and um, and we're just happy to have really happy you know people on our team that that really are compassionate and want to give back. Have you noticed that interest in, in what you guys do has gone up in the last couple of there years? There is such a demand that, out there? there for help and and I think so many people really want to stay at home yeah. um, and want to keep their family members at home where they're comfortable and where their pets are. And if we can come in just even a few hours a week, a couple days a week to help that happen, then that's going to be wonderful. It just buys more time for them yeah. to stay at home as long as possible. It can make a huge difference. Yes. Thank you for what you both do. Thank you. Thank and you. thank you for sharing your story and, and getting involved. And again, if you're interested in Seniors Helping Seniors, Google it. You'll find the main yeah. page there and lots of resources to check out. It is so important to provide those opportunities for those active seniors that are out there who are, yeah, looking to maybe help out some of those less active folks that are in our community. Holly. Yeah, Steve, what a great endeavor. I loved hearing Marilyn's story, how she was able to find this organization at the time that was right for her. And I know. And get involved in and give back. And especially having the background with music yes. and then going into this, and it seems like it's a perfect partnership. Yeah, it really is. Thank you all so much.